Casino. I'm definitely going to be ready to play, and so for me, it's about just trying to manage my emotions, going out there with a clear head, uh, with the right mindset to go out there and play my best football. You expect to, to go out there and play at a high level. Um, you expect to execute, and when a great offense like this, it's it's the greatest challenge. Um, it's the greatest challenge you could ask for because it gives you an opportunity to sh either show how great you are or show that you're a pretender. Tomorrow, we're going to witness one of the best passing offenses in the league take on one of the best defenses, the Chiefs against the 49ers. The big game kicks off in South Beach at 3.30 Pacific time. We'll have more football for you in a sec, but first, let's get to the hardwood. The Fresno State women taking on New Mexico at the pit. The Bulldogs came in riding a nine-game winning streak and perfect in Mountain West play. They once again found themselves trailing in the fourth, but were able to close out the game on a 10-0 run. They had four players finish in double figures. Maddie Udy with a double-double, 14 points, 12 boards, while freshman Haley Cavender scored a career-high 31 points. She also had six assists and five steals. Fresno State wins their 10th straight, 84-78, and improved to a perfect 11-0 in conference. What about the Bulldog men? They were home today to host New Mexico. The football staff was introduced at halftime now that all assistant coaches have been hired. They saw a great basketball game. Late first half, Jared Hyder with a bounce pass to Nate Grimes, a senior, finishes with a dunk. Grimes had a double-double, 15 points, 13 rebounds. But the Bulldogs were down by 11 at the break. Second half, the Lobos trying to hold on to their lead. Corey Manigault flies in for the dunk. Lobos up nine. That was nice, but... Same with this. Take a look. Off the new Williams miss, Anthony Holland gets it to Jordan Campbell, and he's going to drive and elevates his way with the left hand. Campbell's only basket of the game, but the crowd loved it, and so did his teammates. We were fighting the whole game. We were trying to come back from the lead they built, so that really just got us going. He's very athletic, and he's tough getting to the basket, so right now he just has to earn more minutes, and, but he can do that, what you saw. All right, back to the game. The Bulldogs slowly chipping away at the Lobos' lead. Jared Hyder with a reverse layup. Then Hyder to Orlando Robinson for the two-handed jam. That cut the lead to one. Robinson led all scores with 20 points. Tied game now, 115 to play. New Williams is going to hit the triple. That puts the Bulldogs up three. So with 22 seconds to go, Lobos still trailing with a chance to tie it up. But this is going to be no good. Rims out. Bulldogs pull the comeback 82-77. Winners of two straight. I was very proud of how we came back and fought and got stops when we needed to. We were on the guys that were shooting. I told my team that we needed to stay together. In the first half, we, the, the constant threes really damaged our like, morale. So I was, if we stayed together, we'd win the game. That's basically what I was telling them. NFL honors took place in Miami tonight, the night before the Super Bowl. All the regular season awards were handed out. Ravens quarterback Lamar Jackson won MVP. Fireball native Josh Allen was there as well. And he was asked about both quarterbacks playing in tomorrow's game. Well, obviously, Patrick's unbelievable what he's been able to do, um, how he can make these unbelievable throws off platform, and he, he's so fun to watch. And then Jimmy, obviously, coming from New England, now in San Francisco, winning all these games, he just finds ways. Um, you know, and he's been, he's been super accurate, super precise with his decision making. Um, he's super fun to watch, too. So, you know, we're in for a treat. We got some, some two really good quarterbacks going at it. Yeah, I really can't wait. Also, number four, San Diego State improves to a perfect 23-0 on the year with a comeback win over Utah State. The Aztecs retired Kawhi Leonard's number 15 at the game, and former Bulldog Paul George was there supporting him. We'll be right back.